What's up, everybody? It's the Strange Vision coming at you today with my reaction to WWE uh, mini pay-per-view roadblock. Now, first of all, I want to say that this pay-per-view was almost unwatchable because it kept freezing and jumping around, and I feel like I feel like I have to deal with this every pay-per-view now. It's, it's beginning to be really, it's getting to be really annoying. You know, it's not my, it's not like my internet's slow or anything like that. Because if you look online, it happens, it's happening to a lot of people. And I don't know why WWE, WWE hasn't, you know, fixed this or whatever. But it seems like every pay-per-view lately is doing this like all the time. And, it's, and like one of the one of the matches I was really looking forward to was Enzo and Cass, uh, his match, and it, it was like it, during that match where it was happening the most, just freezing like every like five seconds. Anyway, so let's get on to the first match. Uh, it was New Day versus uh, Wade Barrett and Sheamus, and to be honest with you. This match, I was kind of like in and out. Didn't really care about this match. I cannot, I, I, I cannot stand Sheamus. I hate anything Sheamus, Sheamus is involved with. And, uh, you know, New Day came out winning, so that's a good thing. So, so the next match we go to is Chris Jericho versus Jack Swagger. Now, I don't understand why they dusted off Jack Swagger. Uh, the, I think the, I'm pretty sure this pay-per-view was in Canada. And why would you bring out the all-American American Jack Swagger? You know, you figure he would get booed, but because he, you know, they're in Canada and he's the all-American American. But anyway, I don't understand why why this match even took place. Jericho versus Jack Swagger. Of course, Jack, uh, Jericho wins. I just didn't match. The match didn't make any. You know, the match, the booking of this match didn't make any sense. But. You know what it is, what it is, and Jericho came out on top. <clears throat> okay, the next match is the reason why I even watched this pay-per-view to begin with, and that was Enzo and Kaz versus The Revival. Uh, this match was incredible. Uh, I'm not one of those people that's going to love every NXT match. You know, I know some people, you know, just automatically, you know, <clears throat> put over the NXT matches just because, you know, just because, but this match was awesome. A lot of action, great wrestling. Um, but like I said, the whole match was just freezing and skipping around and really hard to watch. Um, but you know, I, I got to watch the match back, uh, <clears throat> without it skipping after the pay-per-view was over. So, um, um, the the bad part about it is the uh, Kaz and Enzo didn't win the t the NXT tag team titles, but you know the way I look at it is maybe this is a sign they're going to be called up to the main roster. But the thing is, they never ever got the NXT titles, and them bring, being brought up to the main roster, you know, losing every. Uh, tag title match they've ever had i mean it kind of makes them look bad i mean i know people are going to cheer them anyway but i'm just saying like they're going to be brought up to the main roster without without even winning those nxt titles just makes them look bad to me but you know whatever <clears throat> so then we had i think the next match was charlotte versus uh, uh natalia um natalia uh, killed it in this match in my opinion uh really good uh matchup charlotte comes out with the win um you know it is what it is but really great match so the next matchup we had was <laughs> this was kind of shut your mouth this match was kind of weird to me because i thought it was supposed to be brock lesnar versus bray wyatt and it ended up being brock lesnar versus Harper and I think they were saying it was supposed to be they, they changed it to a two on one match a handicap match 
you know, but Bray Wyatt never even got in the match. <clears throat> so it was basically Brock Lesnar versus Harper, and it was basically Suplex City, and that was it. So Brock Lesnar comes out, he goes after Bray, and Bray runs to the back. And that was all it was to that match. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, it was kind of a tease for, you know, Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt, which I never really never really uh wanted to see that match to begin with because you know Bray Wyatt loses Bray Wyatt loses all the time so I mean who who cares <clears throat> so then we have the main event so now we have the main event Triple H versus Dean Ambrose and I'm gonna say this was probably the match of the night um you can say what you want to about Triple H you know I don't really care for Triple H that much you know, uh, but the man, the old bastard can still go. <laughs> uh, I, I think everybody pretty much knew that Dean Ambrose wasn't winning that belt, but this match was really good. A lot of action. And, um, I mean, what else can I say about it? I mean, it was, it was an incredible match. I think it was a match of the night. So, <clears throat> so we're, we're going with, uh, Triple H versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and I don't care. Do not care about Roman Reigns. We know he's going to win the title probably. But what are you going to do? That's what they want to do. So <clears throat> so that was my uh, reaction to WWE Roadblock. Um, all in all, this this was actually not, not a bad uh, mini pay-per-view or network exclusive, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was actually pretty decent. I I I, I can't hate on it. Uh, I actually thought it was gonna be a whole lot worse. <clears throat> this was basically this was basically a damn uh, house show. If you could tell, look at the stage, how the stage was set up. It was it was a house show that they just sporadically turned into a mini pay per view. That's all it is. Um, but like I said, it was it was really good and uh, like a. a like I said, WWE, please what, fix the freezing and skipping around and stuff. You know, I don't know what you got to do. I don't know the technical things or whatever, but come on, man. I mean, can you imagine WrestleMania when WrestleMania comes uh, on April, when WrestleMania comes around? Can you imagine it doing this through the whole WrestleMania, the skipping and freezing? I mean... I'm not going to be one of those people say cancel WWE Network, but if you can't watch, like it doesn't do it on 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 like the uh, the show. It only does it on the streaming, like uh, the live streaming things. Uh, you know, on the other other stuff that's already been put up on the network and all. It doesn't freeze, but on the the live streaming it freezes, and I don't understand. But anyway, fix that, please, WWE. Uh, so that's my reaction video. Uh, oh, another thing, I, I, I thought uh, during the New Day match, uh, I really thought Kofi Kingston killed himself because it looked like when he jumped off the top rope, he landed wrong and landed on his head. And I was like, oh, man, another injury. <laughs> but it looked like he was okay. So, anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the pay-per-view. Holler at you guys next time.